Welcome. In this episode of Maintaining the Car with Martin, we are uh, about to change a sensor or uh, replace a sensor for uh, the fan, the cooling fan on the front, uh, because it no longer runs and I'm kind of used to it making a really loud noise whenever I arrive at some place uh, to cool down the engine. Um, it has been broken for, I, I would say, about October last year, but because it was cold, it doesn't really matter. But now that the temperature is rising, it's time to actually replace it. I already started because there were two sensor that needed, sensors that needed replacing. Um, the first one went pretty good. Yeah, all the fluid, of course, drained, so I filled it up again with water, and then I... Uh, or before that I found out that the other one, uh, the other sensor that I got is the wrong type. There's one with a thread and I uh, needed one that has like a little tappy thing that holds it in place. Uh, so I had to go back, had to replace the old one, fill it up with water, drive back to Castello Branco, get the part and return. So um, the first uh, step in this replacing or replacement uh, ordeal is uh, get some wine <laughs> uh, because I'm pretty frustrated with uh, how things are going uh, and every time I do a repair I get pretty frustrated um, so uh, in order to keep my sanity uh, I do it with some wine so I can take breaks drink some wine think about it and then continue uh, it shouldn't be that hard but I also take this opportunity to replace the, the, the fluid uh, the coolant and um, I want to flush the system a few times, so I'm just gonna drain it and see what happens uh, and if I can get it a little bit cleaner when it goes in, because now it's pretty brown. Okay, um, first sip and then I'll get started. It's great. Volkswagen made a little table for your wine here. You just put it on there. You can just stay there. It's amazing. The Volkswagen also made it really easy to get access to the engine. Um, this whole thing comes out and pivots out. Once you open it up, of course. Again, I've done this before, so yeah. Repair is only done well if you've done it twice, I guess. It's also not my first glass of wine, so... Yeah. space and room to move. It's awesome. Uh, all right, I placed a bucket underneath. Let's drain it first because otherwise if I take it out it will just go over the whole engine. Yes, it did that before. <laughs> uh, yeah. might want to see what I'm doing. Okay, I just followed one of the hoses. This is the lowest hose we have. And then I'm just gonna pull this off and try and drain everything into this bucket. I can't do this while I'll, I hold the camera, so you will have to believe me that I'm doing this. Maybe like this. Stand it up. Yeah, everything happens in this bucket, so imagine that.
Look at the nice brown stuff that comes out. And this is with new water in, so yeah. I don't know how long this has not been done. I own the car two years, I should have done it once, maybe. Let's get some water and uh, drain it through. Flush it. Okay, the first bucket looks like this. <laughs> yeah, kind of orange. <laughs> and that's not the color of the coolant that went in. The last one was the antifreeze one, which was pink. More flushing to do. Uh, second bucket is full. Still pretty much the same color. It's the left one. And some sticks came out, which is interesting. There's another one that's sunk to the bottom now. So, uh, I don't know. It's all very important that you, uh, every time you fill up the, the car with uh, more fluid, that you take a sip, otherwise the car will think it's rude. Never let drink, uh, someone drink alone, that's uh, not okay. Um, hopefully, the third bucket will have a different shade of uh, orange or be clear. Uh, yeah, we know that that's not gonna happen, but clearer. <laughs> okay, the next bucket. Leia comes home from picking up Puck from the bus. And the third bucket starts to change color. So now we have bucket one, orange, bucket two, orange with sticks. Bucket three, a more brownish color, but yeah, it becomes more translucent on the top. I can see there's more see-through things. Yeah, and all the floaty things are from the buckets, or at least I can't tell whether it comes out of the system or not. But, uh, Louis Ney, Louis really wants to drink this stuff. He shouldn't, but the bucket was already dirty. Okay, bucket number four, it's even, darker but also more see-through and the second half of the bucket was pretty much clear water that came out so i'm calling it it's uh, it's all right yeah and maybe I'll, I'll do another flush by the end of the summer when i have to change and pour in some antifreeze to to give it another clean but for now uh, i don't think there will be much coming out anymore and also i don't have any more buckets that are at my disposal now so yeah, I have to quit. Um, okay, time to put the hose back on and uh, then do the actual repair that I came to do. Okay, I just pulled the little plug out. Um, I couldn't get a right angle in there with the camera. Uh, yeah. Um, I didn't fill it up again, but still there was a lot of water coming out. Uh, cleaner, but not clean. Um, this is the, the old one. And I took it out and got covered by uh, uh, coolant um, and then beforehand I had this part uh, which looks pretty similar from the top but apparently not uh, it won't fit in there as you can tell this one will just be pushed in it's very easy and then you put this little dinky on here and it holds it in place this has a thread and can be threaded in I don't know what's easier or not. Um, I have to do this. Um, yeah, I didn't fill up the coolant before I did this because I knew this would uh, break the seal and uh, flush it all out again. Um, so I'm now going to replace the one that's actually correct. With a fancy new color. It's this one. I hope it fits. I don't know if this indentation is an indicator that it's no longer working. I don't know. It might be, it might not be, it might just be a different design. Hopefully it fits, otherwise uh, I have to go back again.
Oh yeah, just a tiny little bit of a of a history lesson. This is the great thing about Puk going by bus to school. I don't, no longer have to drive every day, which was also the main reason why I didn't do the repair already between now and October. Because I, yeah, every day I have to, twice a day, I had to drive Puk back and forth. And uh, this took me not that long, but with everything considered, where you have to f the wrong part and you have to go back to Castello Branco to get the right part, it takes a whole day in the end to fix it. But you save on money. This cost me six euros instead of, uh, and some coolant for three euros or something. Uh, yeah, this is much cheaper than bringing it to a gar garage a mechanic, let it be fixed and uh, you learned something about your car. Now I know this little tiny sensor runs the fan. Smarter every day. I'll show you the end result. Okay, it's in its place. I uh, did some uh, really tight space acrobatics with my fingers to get this uh, green little tag on there, you know, it's seated correctly when that thing, this thing goes on, it's in place, and now I just have to hook up this, uh, this thing, if I can do it one-handed, it will be left-handed, because I'm a lefty, in more ways than one, nope. Sometimes you need both sides to work together. <laughs> so it's on. Uh, where are we? There. And now it should work. I think it will. There is no reason why it wouldn't. So I'm just uh, gonna put the coolant back in, or the new coolant that I have, and uh, then put the radiator back in its original spot. But look how much space you have if the thing is in front. You can actually touch things instead of just looking at it from afar. This was the repair. <laughs> Cheers. Puck is gonna help me out with some of the bolts. Okay. Draai hem maar vast eerst met je vingers. Oké. Okay. Tot het niet meer gaat. Ja, dat is oké. Okay. En dan doen we deze erop. Ja. En dan draaien. En dan terug. Iets verder. Rustig aan. Zal ik hem afmaken? Nou, je was al bijna klaar. Zo, dan doen we deze nog een keertje. En dan hebben we hier nog één, maar dat doe ik zelf wel even. Oh. Alright, uh, so I ran the car for a bit, let it get up to a little bit of temperature as soon as it started pumping uh, the fluid around. Uh, it's alright, I think. Uh, Again, I think I have to flush it a few more times to get it completely clean. But uh, for now, uh, with uh, all the fluid that I already got out and uh, the new fluid that went in, it should be all right. Uh, I mean, it has been running forever and it's all right. Um, so I'll keep on top of it. I bled it. Um, means there is like a, a tiny little nubby nub that you can uh, turn around and I waited until there came fluid was coming out and then I tighten it again. Uh, that's what the instruction said to do. Um, that's it. The battery is at 2% so I have to uh, put an end to it. It was fun to do this with you um, and uh, hopefully I won't have to do 
something again in uh, a few weeks at least or for a few weeks at least bye hi um, today I want to do some preparation for next week's uh, cutting of the the hillside of what everything that grows on there so we have the estevas uh, there's rock roses that grow fairly quickly and uh, there are lots of tiny little trees on this hillside that I want to preserve and uh, don't cut uh, because they don't come back that quickly uh, so I decided to make a yeah, lots of these little flags uh, on, on uh, bamboo sticks and I'm just gonna walk over this hill and uh, stick them next to the little trees and um, hopefully I'll be able to avoid cutting them um, after all the rain has uh, passed. Um, yeah, I don't know if this will work but uh, hopefully the ground is now um, soft enough maybe I'll, I'll go get uh, a hammer or some sort to give them a little whack uh, so yeah we'll see if this works and hopefully we'll be able to uh, count the number of trees as well that we have here I made 50 flags so we'll have to see if that's enough or whether I have to make some more uh, hopefully I have to make some more but uh, yeah this is a good start Unfortunately, the time-lapse didn't quite work because most of them were behind the camera but I put all those red little flags there Plenty of them I think I got between these two lines of brush about 40 So uh, I need to make some more flags to do the whole hillside. We go all the way back there and just this bit where I started filming is a bit empty. But maybe I'll find some. I'll still make sure to be careful while cutting the grass. But it's encouraging. Nice and sunny now. All right, uh, after uh, replacing all the coolant, I noticed, and driving around a bit, I noticed that the fan still wouldn't turn on and I couldn't find out what it was. And then I watched some YouTube videos and then I found that there are other uh, fuses in the car that are not on the map, or not in the cabin, on the main fuses. Uh, right here, there are some plate fuses, and uh, I opened it up, and uh, the fuses uh, were broken. Um, so I tried to find new ones at the, the, the tip, 
uh, they didn't have it or at least the car that they had uh, had also broken fuses so for now I um, connected uh, I s connected the two sides of the fuse on one bolt so uh, there's no fuse in there right now which is super safe uh, but it made it possible for me to drive to the uh, to the city uh, without the car overheating and yeah the fan works the fan is fine the radiator fan uh, it just is the fuse that is the problem so once i install the new fuses it should be fine so i'm off to the uh, castello branco now Okay, new fuses, 50 amp, yay, it was, I don't know, 5, 5.75, no, 40 cents, <laughs> 40 cents, and then I have some fuel line as well for the digger, because I'm here anyways, so, replace that one as well. Yay! Okay, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Ik ga hem gewoon zo erin doen. <laughs> I got the fuses. 50 amp, that's what you need. And uh, I lost one of the screws on the way here, so I fabricated on the way here. I fabricated the no new ones. I hope I still have them in my pocket. These ones, similar threads, just a different uh, tool that you need to tighten it. Fine. I have to open up the thing. Again. Oops. 
straks nog uitleggen waarom ik dit doe. Oh. Oké. Okay. should easily come go on. <laughs> that works much easier. Now it's finished and it works again. Uh, and I noticed that I need to refill or top these off a bit. But after driving a bit, 